Welcome to Spark Goat. 2020 has been a tough year for the whole world. No thanks to COVID-19. It threw the world into pandemonium, shutting down almost everything for months. But do you know that COVID-19 is a toddler amongst some diseases? I'm in no way trying to downplay the devastating effects of COVID-19 to all sectors of life but rather trying to tell us how long we humans have come in dealing with pandemics that have threatened our existence. In this video, I will tell you about the top seven deadliest diseases of all time. And believe me, the top two will make you wonder how the human race is still in existence. Sit tight, grab a cup of ice cream, and let's roll. Starting at number seven is poliomyelitis, shortened as polio. First described clinically by Michael Underwood in 1789, this deadly disease was a major public health issue in the early 20th century. This highly infectious disease, transmitted through the mouth, causes irreversible paralysis of the spine and respiratory muscles, which ultimately leads to death. Major polio epidemics were unknown until the early 20th century. In 1894, the first recognized U.S. polio epidemic occurred in Vermont, with 132 cases and 18 deaths were recorded. In 1916, New York saw the first large epidemic occur with over 9,000 cases and 2,343 deaths. In 1952, Dr. Jonas Salk developed the first effective vaccine against polio. After then, mass polio vaccination started in 1957. A better, administered oral polio vaccine was developed by Albert Sabin in 1961. By 1994, the Western world had no reported cases of polio due to the widespread vaccination. Currently, polio is epidemic only in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Number 6. HIV AIDS These two words go hand in hand, as one leads to the other. HIV, known as human immunodeficiency virus, is a precursor to a spectrum of conditions called acquired immune deficiency syndrome, AIDS. HIV attacks the body's immune system, which serves as defense for the body. This weakens the individual's ability to fight diseases that normally should not affect him or her. Since 1981, AIDS or HIV-related illnesses have killed over 39 million people with over 950,000 in 2017 alone. According to WHO, over 40 million people were living with HIV at the end of 2019. This disease was initially thought to be localized to homosexuals, but studies over the years have proven that wrong. It is proven that it can be transmitted via unprotected heterosexual intercourse, intravenous drug use, infected blood, during pregnancy, childbirth, or breastfeeding. Number five, Ebola virus disease. Ebola is a serious and usually fatal disease with an average death rate of 50%. That means one in two infected cases will die. That's really scary. It is caused by the Ebola filovirus. It was first discovered in 1976 and bats are said to be the most probable reservoir of the virus. Symptoms are similar to those of other viral hemorrhagic fevers, like yellow fever, Lassa fever, etc. This includes high-grade fever, bloody sweat, diarrhea, vomiting, and ultimately death. Over the course of the popular 2014 to 2016 outbreak, over 28,000 cases were reported by the Center for Disease Control, with over 11,300 deaths. Ebola is generally not prevalent in most countries again, except states with very weak health systems. As of May 31, 2020, 3,195 cases of Ebola were reported according to WHO after declaring the end of Ebola outbreak in Liberia in 2016. Recently, on the 1st of June, a new Ebola outbreak was detected in Northwest DRC. At the end of 2019, a vaccine was approved for adults over the age of 18. Number four, Spanish flu. The Spanish flu, or influenza, is regarded as the most severe pandemic in modern history, killing about 60 to 100 million people in 18 months. Caused by a deadly subtype of the H1N1 virus in 1918 through 1920, this disease affected over a fifth of the world's population. 
Unlike other influenza, the morbidity and mortality rate was high for people within age 20 to 40 years and generally healthy people. Its symptoms include fever with chills, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and coughing and chest tightness. Although the origin of the virus is still a mystery to the scientific world, it spread worldwide during 1918 through 1919, following the path of its human carriers along trade routes and shipping lines. As there was no vaccine and no drug to combat the virus, health guidelines worldwide were limited to non-pharmacological interventions such as self-isolation, social distancing, good personal hygiene, etc. No difference from what we are doing to curb COVID-19. Number three, severe acute respiratory syndrome. Coronavirus is a big family of viruses that have been plaguing humans for years. Before COVID-19, there was a previously unknown SARS-CoV that causes severe acute respiratory syndrome. This virus was identified in China in 2003. It is thought to be an animal virus from an as yet uncertain animal reservoir, perhaps bats, that spread to civet cats where it was mutated, thus making it able to infect man. The first infected humans were in the Guangdong province of southern China in 2002. Symptoms are influenza-like and include fever with chills and rigor, malaise, headache, diarrhea, and myalgia. The illness spread to more than 24 nations in North America, South America, Europe, and Asia before the SARS global outbreak of 2003 was contained. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, a total of 8,098 people worldwide got infected with SARS during the 2003 outbreak, of which 774 died. Since 2004, there have not been any reported cases of SARS anywhere in the world. However short its course was, it was really devastating for nations that had cases. Number two, smallpox. This deadly disease caused by the variola virus wreaked havoc worldwide for a seemingly long time. History dates this disease back to 10,000 BC, as can be seen on the mummified remains of the great Egyptian pharaoh Ramses. Smallpox is a febrile, severe, and infectious disease seen in all ages and sexes. It manifests as a large fluid-filled pustules on the face and all over the body. In the 18th century, over 400,000 people died annually in Europe from smallpox. It was the most common cause of deaths in history, killing 30% of those infected. One thing unique about this disease was that survivors never caught it again, never. This served as a foundation for the war against smallpox. Upon discovering the smallpox vaccine, a massive vaccination campaign began in 1967 and was on until the disease was eliminated worldwide. The last reported case of smallpox was in Somalia in 1977. Number 1. Bubonic Plague No other disease is fit to be on the number one spot other than the bubonic plague. The bubonic plague, aka the Black Death, is one of the deadliest diseases in human history. This disease has killed over tens of millions of lives around the world. The first reported pandemic broke out in Egypt in 541 and was designated the Plague of Justinian. In the 14th century, it wreaked havoc in Europe, killing about 100 million people. Three centuries later, the Black Death crept into Europe, again killing about 76,000 people in the Great Plague of Seville and about 69,000 people in the Great Plague of London. The plague is caused by Yersinia pestis, a bacterial disease spread by the fleas of rats. The development of vaccines and antibiotics has helped to curb it, although it still kills between 100 and 200 people a year. On a final note, the human race has survived a lot, and I am quite optimistic we will see the end of COVID-19. As this video is about to end, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share the video with your friends. Till next time, Stay safe and wear your mask.